everyone, this is Cindy with Grain of the Heart, and I am back with another card. So I have been trying to do some more card making. Um, you know, I have some other kind of things that I would like to do, but I just don't have the kind of time I would like. I'm hoping I have some time freed up because I just got a lot of work done in my house, and I don't have any more money to work on my house. So that occupied a lot of my free time last week, but I'm very, very happy with it. So now on to the card. This is a card. My daughter needs some thank you cards. And so this is one of the cards I decided to make. It's an A2 size card. We're going to start off. It's five and a half by four and a quarter using this orange piece. Now, a lot of the cards that I'm making that you'll see on my channel, um, kind of all in a row, you'll see have very similar color patterns, color and the reason why is because um, I tend to use what's on my desk so that I just decide to make projects with things I have already out just because I don't want to put it away. So I am using this paper, which I found when I cleaned out some stuff. I actually had purchased this at Hobby Lobby. I think it was 40% off or something. All the paper pads were 40 or 50% off. So I went ahead and picked this one up because I really like the doodle bug pads. I think they're really, really cute. This one's called Take Note. You can see it was originally $6.99. I think they got 40% off. I think it was like $3.50 or something. So I'm using this one. And it is cut at five and a quarter by four. And I like the fact that their pads are double-sided. Those tend to be my favorite ones. Lawn Fawn doesn't have a double-sided. I do like their pads, but I wish that they were double-sided. That's just me. Because sometimes I really like the B sides. I like when there are plain um, sides to the paper. I can use those for mats. I can use them in my Cricut. So I like that. So the image... Oh, wait. I'm not done. So this is also from the paper. You can see it's got these really bright colors. And so I thought maybe I was going to do it this way. I didn't like the way it looked, so it ended up being this way. It's just kind of how it went. So this was cut at one and I think it's one and a half by five and a half. And it's going to go right here. So, and I also let my card CV stamps kind of dictate. So I wanted to use some of my stamps that help dictate some of the images that I'm using. I'm just trying to use what I have. I'm probably going to be doing some stamping too. just to... And then I have this orange piece. I just did a little bit of white doodling along the top. This was cut at one inch by five and a half. And then I just used my um, scallop punch. I have a Stampin' Up! scallop punch. That's the one I use, but you know, everybody needs a good scallop punch. I use that sucker all the time. All right, now on to my image. So I'm using this super cute monsters from Mini Monsters, which I believe is a Cricut Light cartridge. And I cut it at three inches. It's pretty big, so just keep that in mind that your width, that everything is, you know, you've got to keep that in mind when you do your height. Make sure your width, because the width is four inches. So be aware. So I just cut it out with all of its layers, and then I just did a little bit of pink stickles on the top and a tiny little bit of doodling, just a little bit. And I also did some black stickles on the eyes, but they're very, uh, it's not very bling bling, it's very mellow. It just helps them kind of stand out a little bit. And then I've got it on some pop dots. So I'm keeping these simple. I mean, these are just going to get, because they're going to get put in the mail too. I tend to not do super fancy stuff when I put it in the mail because I don't want it to, um, you know, all the pieces to get all smushed or for it to cost me more to mail it. All very viable reasons. Some of these might not even go in the mail, to be honest, but I don't know which ones will, which ones I will just hand deliver because a lot of people who bought her gifts are people that I see all the time. So like my sister and my brother, my parents, I see them all the time. So I can hand deliver that. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of, I think I've decided to put that a little bit on a slant. So there's that very cute. And I try to make it kind of girly because it's a monster. 
Okay, and I'm using this sentiment. It's called Sending You Monster Hugs, and it's from Mixed Messages. This is a really fun stamp set. There's some very um, general stuff, but then, like, just be happy, you inspire me, get your happy on. And then there's some things that really will work with cuts. So Sending You Monster Hugs is one of them, and all I did was just stamp it out on some white um, scrap, and then I made my own little banner um, tail there. So I kept it really simple. I thought about laying around. I can lay around on some scrap, and then I just went there. Nah. I didn't feel like it, so this is what we're going to do. And just go ahead and lay this down. There we go. And then it just it just needed a little something for me anyway. So I pulled out some little white buttons. And so I'm going to do um, some buttons just because it needed a little something. Okay, so I'm going to just do these. I just put three little buttons here at the bottom. I could have done sequins, but I went with the buttons. Okay, so here is my card, and I'll just stamp thank you on the inside. Lily will write something very simple. She just turned seven. You know, thank you for my present. Love, Lily. Thank you for my gift, something like that. And then that'll be really um, simple, cute little thank you card, and a good way of using um, a stamp set you might think is just really for Halloween. You definitely could use it for a thank you card or even a kid's birthday. That would be really cute for that, too. Thank you for watching. This is Cindy the Crane with the Heart.